So how's it going everyone, it is Jordan here and welcome back to Attack of the B Team on the Wolf Pride server. Now I am back at my old farm in spawn, uh, my house is just over there beyond those trees, or is it there? No, it's there, that's uh, Menno's house I believe. Um, yeah, I'm at a little farm that I made ages ago because I just I just wanted some food and this was my, uh, this was my main source of food. Um, I used to just put barley in here and then get flour and then just ba basically bake the flour and it would turn into bread. In fact, that's actually what I still do. But um, in my new place, you can actually find barley just randomly spawned in. So I just use that pretty much. I need to actually set up a, uh, a reliable food source. But basically, this is where I used to have my old one. I also had a little cactus farm going on to uh, so I could get the uh, green lamps that I use in my base. I actually just came back to get some now because... I want to use cactus or at least the uh oh what is that cactus juice um at least the uh ca the green dye which you get from cactus in uh today's episode um but really why I'm recording right now is because I don't think I ever showed you this place um this is the I guess this is a town hall but it's featuring all of our all of our like statues this is a uh, part of the statues mod um so we pretty much have everybody here from the server as well as a few guests so as you can see there's lemon there's freak bird and so on and so on and then we have corralis b00 and generic b so obviously you recognize all three of those faces um i'm over here i decided to put this weird thing on my character what is it it's a it's part of the witchery mod it's a witch's hand and i thought i could kind of like make him look like he was doing some sort of dance where he points and dance maybe something like like the bgs or something i'm not too sure but um yeah, you can actually edit the way it works. Anyway, you can move his hand, or his, no, it's this hand. Sorry, so I can have it pointing down like that, or I can have it pointing all the way up. I kind of have it about there, just so it's pointing outwards. Uh, but yeah, it's just pretty cool. Uh, Jason made this. This is also where we have the beacons and we get haste, jump boost. Well, I think jump boost and resistant actually come with the uh, the drugs that cheesy Smurf sells. Part of the, I believe it's part of the what's it called? Uh, the advanced genetics mod, that's it. Um, so I constantly have jump boost and resistance too, but um, these beacons give us speed and haste. I'm pretty sure there's a way to program them to get better things, but this is all we need in spawn anyway. So yeah, um, I was just showing you this. I just thought it'd be pretty cool, pretty cool for you guys to see. Um, now we are going to go switch over to my base because I can't be in spawn for any longer than 10 minutes or else my game will crash. So yeah, I will see you over there in a second. Alright guys, so we're back at the base now and I thought I would show you a little update on our endless supply of energy here. Um, the hardened energy cell has managed to save up 2 million RF, which is a crazy amount of energy. Also, each engine currently has 40, well, that one doesn't seem to, it's almost got 40,000, there we go. 40,000 RF and that one also has 44,000 RF so we have a ridiculous amount of energy I've um, hooked up a redstone furnace to that side I'm also just going to quickly hook one up to here um, I want to smelt some things I want to smelt that and in here I also want to smelt that so um, I did start building a room for what we are doing in today's video but I decided not to and I think I might save it for a later date I've also begun to replace some of the chests with these reinforced iron chests which is be part of the uh, better storage mod and um, the difference is these are harder to blow up not that anything down here is ever going to blow it up and they're also bigger capacitor so as you can see much bigger than that which is good um, they do cost a little bit they cost uh, I think they cost an iron block four iron ingots a chest and three logs I believe so, uh, yeah, not completely cheap, but, you know, slowly, one at a time, we'll get it all replaced. And we will have reinforced iron chests all around here, so it'd be good. Loads of storage. Um, so, yeah, let's just... Oh, yeah, we can't cook that, obviously, because the basalt's in there. I was uh, I was cooking some basalt earlier to finish off this all around the edge. Uh, let's just put that away for a second. Uh, so, we are today going to be working, or going to be playing with, not working for once, we're going to be playing with a mod called the flans mod now look at that <laughs> it is amazing we have guns we have a barrett 50 cal we have r700 snipers m14 assault rifles uh mp5s it basically is call of duty 4 uh the scorpion m16 
uh, M21, Dragonov. It is actually every gun from Call of Duty 4, I believe, by the looks of things. RPGs, uh, Desert Eagles. I believe we can even make planes in this. Uh, yeah, triplane wing, AA gun barrel, metal propeller. Uh, I don't know too much about this mod, but we're going to be playing around with it today and hopefully finding out a few things, having a bit of fun. So I'm going to take as much iron as I can possibly get. I'll just let that cactus carry on cooking. And you can't specifically look at each gun and press R to look at the recipe like you usually would with every other thing. But we can make this modern weapons box. And how you do that is six pieces of iron ingots and three cactus green dye. So let's just put these in there like a soul. And we will then make ourselves a modern weapons box. Now I'm not going to put this in any specific place just yet. I'm just going to plonk it down right here because I will be taking it up outside. Um, and as you can see, once you click on this or you right click on this box, you pretty much have all the uh, items you need to make the guns. Um, for example, an AK-47 requires 10, ing 10 iron ingots and 10 logs, which is good because AK-47s are probably one of the most cheapest guns to make in real life, so it's quite good that they've uh, they've got it at a low, a low price like so. Um, and yeah, there's just so many guns, uh, like a big light machine gun right there. Uh, RPD, which is another type of light machine gun, so is the M6 there. Uh, M9 pistol, USP, uh, claymores, we can actually just make claymores and grenades, uh, as well as RPGs. So we're going to start off from the bottom here. What is the first gun we can make? We can make ourselves an M40 using, let's just, there we go, 12 iron ingots, uh, fiberglass, I believe that is, glass and green cactus dye. Now we can actually make that right now. Let's just get the rest of this. Uh, let's also get the rest of the iron. Look how quick it goes when it's got that much power. It's so much more quicker than a furnace. As well as it's not costing as coal. It's amazing. I'm so glad I did that. Um, yeah, it would probably have been a good idea to bring this box down to here. Can I pick it up? Yeah, I, could, I assume I can pick it up with my hand. Hopefully, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's bring this box down here because then we can have all our stuff with us. Uh, so yeah, what do we need? We need 12 pieces of iron. Uh, let's just separate these out. Oh wait, I just, I'm just going to do it manually, never mind. There we go, 12 pieces of iron. Uh, fiberglass which can be made like this. You need to mix clay with sand and then you make a clay and sand mixture. So we have 28 of those. Let's just see if there's a free furnace. Yes there is. And then you smelt that and it will make, I believe it will make fiberglass, right? Yeah, there we go. And we need eight of those, so I'm just going to let that carry on. Uh, what else did it say we needed? We need four pieces of glass, uh, two die. I have two die right there. Uh, where's the glass? Do I have any glass? I have three pieces, really. I don't have four. Can use that. I imagine you can use that, right? That's chiseled glass. Let's get um, let's get our chisel out and just chisel chisel it back to the normal, the normal type of glass. There we go. Four pieces of glass. Nice. Let's just put the chisel away. Um, I probably will get more sand because it seems that you need glass for quite a lot of the weapons. Yeah, it does. We also need to make ammo for this, which is three iron ingots and two gunpowder. Do I have two gunpowder? Yes, I do. Okay, everything's going well so far. So, what is it that I need? I need to pick up the fiberglass, don't I? And I should be able to make an M40. Now for any of you Call of Duty 4 fans, you know that the M40 was definitely the best sniper in the game. Uh, yeah, so you just basically click on here and then because we have enough stuff in our inventory, we can just click the gun. And as you can see, we have a Minecraft version of the M40, which is just incredible. We also need to make some ammo. There we go. <laughs> so we now have some M40 ammo and an M40 gun. Let's go test it out, shall we? up in the overworld. Um, to re to uh, load your gun, you first need to right click and then you it does an animation where you put the bullets in. And then to scope in, we have our perfect test subject right here. You uh, left click to zoom in. So, did that even hit him? Come on, that must have hit him. Oh, that one hit him. It's hard to see because um, because obviously he scoped and let's just shoot, let's just no scope him. Here we go. There we go. How many bullets did that take? It took about three or four bullets, depending on if the first two hit him. Um, we also got a new hat called Head Crab. Um, 
Let's have a look at that. Where is it? I'm pretty sure. There we go. Yeah, that's weird looking. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't really wear hats anyway. Um, I don't see much point. But yeah, as you can see in the bottom left, well, it's hard to point without um, bringing up the inventory. But as you can see, we have one bullet left out of five. So we have used four bullets. So you must get ten bullets from from uh, from one crafting of ammo. So let's kill this creeper, shall we? Just because I hate them. Okay, that definitely hit him. We've seen that. Now I need to reload. I right-click again. And then it should reload. No? Does it not want to reload? Okay, so maybe I have no bullets left. So maybe you only get actually... Yeah, that's it. It just didn't... Oh, I'm kind of confused. Oh, I get it. So each cartridge can hold five bullets. And every time you craft a set of ammo, you only get five bullets. Okay, I understand. I understand. Don't worry. So now we've made ourselves an M40. Let's just... Let's just have a chest dedicated to guns, shall we? Uh, we have an M40 made, no ammo in it. Uh, what else do we want to make? Should we just move on from the snipers and try and make ourselves like a, a bit of a machine gun? I think we should make an M16. Uh, do I have more iron by any chance? If I don't, I may have to make a quick cut. Okay, yeah, I do have more uh, iron, that's good. Okay, so what else do you need to make the M16? Hello, hello, M16, where are you? There you go. Uh, five fiberglass. Uh, let's go to the furnace. There should be more. There should be plenty more. Actually. Okay, 20 pieces altogether of fiberglass, which is good. Uh, and I think that should be enough to make that. We also need five pieces of gunpowder to make ammo, as well as six pieces of iron. So let's make the gun first. Um, we have enough iron. We need to get some, some gunpowder. So I am going to go look for a creeper. I don't know if to do this off camera. If there isn't any up here then I guess I'll have to wait and do it off camera but if there is then obviously it's not going to take too long. Uh, creepers? Anywhere? Oh there's one. The spider should leave us alone. Creepers are scared of us by the way. They they fizz up but they actually can't do anything because we're on these uh, we're on the advanced genetics so I don't know what uh, what part of the mod that is but they they get terrified by us. I don't know what genetics that is. We must be, we must have creeper genetics, so we're all friends. Even though I didn't think creepers had friends. But yeah, so now I've got two pieces of gunpowder. I guess I need more, don't I? Oh no, I put some away. Okay, that's good. So now I can make ammo for this. And that costs six iron ingots and five gunpowder. Let's go. And how many bullets do you get? Let's reload it. Drop out the cartridge, put a new one in. You get 30 bullets, so that's not too bad. Um, we won't try and use all the ammo on this one. We'll probably uh, we'll probably take our time with it. Let's shoot this guy. Actually, let's no scope him just for the sake of it in case I miss. It's, it seems to be a bit more awkward like that. Oh my god, that was amazing. See, it's a bit yeah. I prefer to just use the crosshair. Okay, apparently not. Does that want to hit him? There we go. I was gonna say for some reason it was going through him. It was bulletproof. So yeah, guns are amazing, and it gives me an idea. I do want to set up some sort of firing range. I do want to shoot this horse. I do want to shoot this horse. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but I just want to do it. See how many bullets it takes. <laughs> he just comes flying at us in the morph mod. Uh, let's switch on being a horse, because that's a bit weird. Uh, let's go back to our normal selves. Um, so yeah, it kind of gives me an idea to set up some sort of firing range or a gun shop. Because... Everybody likes to buy guns, and I'm considering calling it ammunition, kind of after the GTA shop. Um, if you play GTA, you know that the gun shop's always called uh, always called ammunition. So I'm thinking of setting up one of those. Uh, me and my green box, we're going to go far. Um, so yeah, I'm going to actually craft a couple more guns off camera, and I think I'm going to do the. Let's have a look. Let's shall we do the RPD? Actually, that requires quite a lot of gunpowder. Let's do... <laughs> yeah, let's just do the RPD. I'll get some gunpowder. It's fine. We'll do the RPD, and then we'll also do an RPG. Just for the just for the ending. Okay, so I'm going to go craft those off camera, and then I will show you what sort of damage the RPG and the RPD can actually do. So yeah, I will see you in a second. Okay, guys, so I have the guns made. I have the RPD and the RPG. So unfortunately I only have one 
RPG or one rocket for the RPG so we're gonna have to save that till last but I do have the RPD ammo now that actually quite took quite a lot of gunpowder to make I think it took about 11 pieces of gunpowder as well as a bit of iron so it's probably gonna have quite a large magazine let's test it out we'll put our drum in there and as you can see we have a hundred bullets in this bad boy so let's um let's lock and load on this creeper shall we we used his gunpowder to make it and we are now gonna use his gunpowder to kill him so let's go oh my god even though it had the most ridiculous recoil in the world I think every bullet actually hit them <gasps> can I hit two at a time does the bullet spread oh my god the bullet spread look at this we've almost got all the gunpowder back actually this is a much quicker way of collecting gunpowder um, so yeah let's have a look for some more some more unfortunate creatures to uh, to suffer uh, let's have a look there's another oh no it's not a creeper that's that is a well dressed up zombie. You look smart. Nice hat. I actually want it. Can I have it? Oh god. Okay, we are taking fire from somebody else. Get away. Jesus, that zombie is taking a, a right kick in. Okay, so there are so many possibilities with this mod. We can have such cool gun wars. If someone sets up some sort of like mini map where we can just shoot each other with just this mod, I think there should definitely be a server dedicated just to this mod. There probably is, but if there isn't, then there should be. But look, we can just send them so far back. Imagine doing this against other people; it'd be so fun. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to bear that in mind for the future. Hopefully, uh, hopefully some other people on the server pick up on this mod. So I don't think I've seen anybody on the server. In fact, I don't think I've seen anybody on the, any attack of the B team server or let's play try out this mod yet but yeah it is pretty fun um let's try out the rpg now the final big one uh we'll lock and load it shall we right click and it just puts the rocket in that is so cool but we have to choose something to shoot shall we try and you see i would blow the creeper up but we've killed enough of those there's a baby zombie there we can't really race waste the rocket on a baby uh zombie let's blow this figure let's just see how much damage it actually does shall we um I believe there's actual spawners. Yeah, there is. Uh, let's try and shoot directly at the spawner and see what happens. Here we go. One rocket. Let's go. I'll try and get closer in case I miss. <laughs> so it didn't do that much damage, but I imagine it's the size of a TNT explosion. It's pretty cool, really, considering considering its projectile, if you know what I'm saying. So, um... There are just a couple more things I have to do. I want to collect a little bit more coal and some more resources just off cam. So I can get up to uh, level 30 and we can do an enchantment for the episode. And I also want to go back to the statues in spawn and dress up my character. Especially now that we have guns. So yeah, I'm going to skip over to that now. So I thought it would be good to enchant ourselves a diamond pickaxe for this episode's enchantment. Uh, we got pretty unlucky with the last one. We only managed to get an efficiency 2. Uh, we did get very lucky on the last two ones that we did though. We got Feb Fall in 4, Fire Protection 3. And we also got Aqua Affinity and Protection 4 on the helmet. So if we put that in there, I'm hoping for a Silk Touch. Come on, please give me a Silk Touch. That's what I really want right now. Ooh, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4. That is not bad. Um, I practically have Fortune 3 on that one, uh, as you can see. Uh, but efficiency 4, I imagine it will be a little bit quicker than this pickaxe. Not a bad pick, not what I was hoping for, but um, I'll settle for it. It's not too bad. So we're going to take a little walk through the spawn, which is basically lag central for me. Uh, even though it does look beautiful, um, it's probably one of the nicest places I've ever been in Minecraft. Just everywhere looks great. The micro blocks uh, make it look amazing. That's probably what makes me lag. Uh, I don't think my computer works too well with microblocks, hence why I don't really use them. Uh, but we're going to go over here to the uh, to the igloo of champions. That's what it is. It's not the town hall. It's the igloo, igloo of champions. As you can see, we're all champs here. And I'm going to take my hand away. And I think it would be pretty cool to give him the M16. <laughs> yes. Now let's move that up a bit like so. What about the other hand? Can we move that much? Like if we put something in there? Uh, where did it go? See, it doesn't look right having the uh, RPD in that hand. 
Then again, actually, let's uh, yeah, let's just give him the M16 because um, I don't really want to waste the RPD anyway. I think that looks good enough. The M16 is quite cheap, so we can just uh, we can just leave that in there like that. Let me just turn all my particles off. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, yeah, right there. That looks amazing. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, just before I go, I'd just like to give you a little update on what's going to be going on. I'm going to be going away for two to three weeks. Um, it's not going to be like the last times though where I uh, where I say I'm going to go away and I end up going away for about six months. I will actually start making videos as soon as I get back, don't worry. Um, so yeah, there's no need to worry about that. I will be back in two to three weeks, uh, probably with a lot more videos than lately actually because we are starting our first UHC. And uh, we're going to be recording that on the 26th of April. So uh, hopefully there should be a lot of episodes coming from that. I hope I don't die in the first two minutes of it. <laughs> um, I've ne I've played U UHC once, just on a random server. Oh, sorry about the Skype, by the way. That was my Skype, not yours, if you're wondering. Um, and I did manage to last till the very end, but I came second, um, unfortunately. But we're going to be doing teams of two. And the teams are going to be random, and we're going to be recording the whole thing, so it's going to be amazing. And obviously, there'll be more Attack of the B team. So yeah, uh, other than that, I don't think there's much else to say. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to click the like button. It really helps me out a lot. And that's my Skype again, by the way. And again, <laughs> um, yeah, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.